<laughs> Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. TVI, Carl Donnelly here. Julian Dean, hi. Guest, Anya. Is it a, is it a, a low, loud G or a silent G? Magliano. It's loud and clear. Anya Magliano. Magliano. Capital G. But Capital G. I don't know if yeah, it's like yeah. one of you going it's Magliano. Like, sort of. You can do that, but I don't. You don't. So you, you hit the G. I, would, I, think, I don't think it Is it Italian? Well. Yeah. Oh. Um, Next question. Anya oh. Magliano. Welcome to the podcast. Hello, Italiano. We were just talking no. as we hit record about you eating a grape. And I said, um, you know, you know, it's that thing of sometimes you've got something that gives you a sense of urgency. Mm. Um, but I read a... I read a Podcast. I listened to a podcast. <laughs> you read one, yeah, the um, book version about um, ways to stay alert. Mm-hmm. It was a weird. It was those episodes that I was, of a series. I was, no, one of them was about holding your wee in, mm-hmm. um, which you heard like Tony Blair and some other people would always do that before big speeches. Apparently, if you hold your wee in, your bladder essentially s- releases. Um, Sort of adrenaline. adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> you slowly pissed yourself. That's why if you look at Tony Blair's speeches, he was slowly pissing yeah, yeah, throughout yeah. all of them. But it's apparently yeah, you get adrenaline. It's almost an adrenaline boost. So you do. Yeah, it's actually a good way of staying alert. It's not. If you need a wee, just hold it for a bit longer than yeah. you might. If you need to, that is. So if you're about to go on stage, just hold it in. You'll be fine. But it's My friend used to about. always sit all of her exams um, with a full bladder because she thought she made better decisions. Well, Did go. she fail? <laughs> I don't know, actually. She went to uni, but call. then she dropped out. So I don't know if the wee <laughs> thing didn't happen. She held it for the whole of uni as well. Yeah, she had to go to the hospital for like a burst bladder or whatever. Oh, God. That is, um, yeah. But anyway, so we don't re- we're don't we not doctors. All right. We don't recommend anything. So go to wee if you want to, I would suggest. Yes. Yeah, but there's you've got to, you can't go all the time when you want because then you'll piss yourself loads. Yeah, you've got, old. To, you've got to have some sense of control. You've got to find a bush. <laughs> you've got to show your your bladder who is who is in control, who's oh, boss. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm in control of my bladder. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, I, who is? Because I'm in I'm, control of your bladder. I've got bladder. good bladder my control. Flat, mate. <laughs> um, I've got good bladder control. I will say, and this, I know this is a terrible Powerful place to start. Abs. My bum, my bum, mm. when I really need, like, if I my my morning poo, yeah, um, basically it's always within ten minutes of waking up. Ten minutes of waking up, I'm on the toilet. Did you get out of bed first, or um, <laughs> I've got <a> bedpan. <laughs> <laughs> Just diarrhea. But Sorry. I uh, sometimes if morning, I get up by the way. and I get caught in the middle of something, <laughs> like if I'm with my daughter wants to do something, suddenly we're just busy. Yeah, it comes You're on like have to a watch real. Shit first. It's a real <laughs> moment of like, no, you need to go and do this. Really? Yeah. So, but I've got control. But if I don't, then go. Sound like you have control. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, then, I get to the toilet. I get, like, pa- I get like a pain. Really? Yeah, to like go because I'm very. Um, you eat a lot of veg. I do eat a lot of veg. Yeah. I actually, um, I've been eating a lot of veg recently because I got this odd box. Uh, odd box is the best. No. You don't I like it. it. Why don't you like it? Because every vegetable is an absolute riddle and a half to know what to do with you it. You do get some like, Just I got kohlrabi. Yeah. You got a kohlrabi? I had to put on Instagram a picture of it being like, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Does I anyone want to help? <laughs> I genuinely had to do a story because I threw away the leaflet that it came with, oh, which tells you what all the vegetables are. So, well, yeah, it was my first one. And I was like, I don't know what any of these shapes are. You get, But you, you, it's almost like you have to... You have to learn the ways of the odd box. <laughs> like, I don't want to. I've had one for two years. I got I got one. Is it just, just vegetables? At the start of, yeah, yeah for, and, and fruit. fruit. But good. start of COVID is when I got it. Mm. Get down an old. And then um, now you know, you just know you get some weird shit. Mm. Like this week, I got a big leafy green thing, and straight away uh, my wife went sprout to- <laughs> sprout tops. Yeah. Fucking sprout tops. I first one I got, I got six beetroots. I straight in the bin. Why really? Six? That's too many. Why juice them? I didn't know what juice, to do. Juice, I juice, juice them, grate them, make a make a make a slaw. Come on. Okay. Um, I'm at your neighbour. <laughs> <laughs> juggle. Um, juggle. I should have juggled. Play golf with them. <laughs> and what did you do with your kohlrabi? That sounds like a weird <laughs> euphemism. Um, I I op- I sliced it up. Yeah. Put it in a bowl with some. Someone told me what to do with it. I think, but then I didn't do that because I couldn't be bothered. Okay. This is the problem. I can't cook, and I okay. thought getting a vegetable box would be like. I think you could steam any vegetable. I mean, I don't well, know. I thought you could roast any vegetable. I th- you probably can. Uh, well, yeah, you probably can. Re- eat, any, eat legally, any. I think you can. You can, think... but you want to ro- roast your root veg. Now yeah. we're out of the EU. Saute your leafy sort of dark greens. <laughs> yeah. Um, you go offshore, you can roast <laughs> <laughs> And other some root veg, you know, yeah, you go can, to you can, Dubai. You can yeah, boil yeah, some others, but yeah, I would say I stick to roasting my roots. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Kohlrabi, though. I pickled my kohlrabi. Did you? <laughs> Again, it sounds Crying. like I just said something gross. But um, yeah, I pickled it. I made a, I made pickled kohlrabi. Is that where you just put it in vinegar? Essentially, and some other bits. And some, some other bits. Some chilli and things. And like, well, I, you, I, I, you just put it in vinegar in a jar, do the lid up, yeah, put it in the yeah, fridge yeah. for a, what, a, a long time. It's, and still it some, it's still sitting there, yeah. That's and then nice. just a couple of bits. If you're it's making, good for your gut if you're making health, a nice salad, you can sprinkle some on top, and it's a nice little zingy twist. Well, that's know. this is the thing is that I thought it would help, but I think because I haven't eaten like loads of mad vegetables for ages, I'm like I've been getting really intense like stomach pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From too them. much fiber. Too much fiber. Yeah. I need to dodge myself out. Yeah. It's a, oh, I mean, the ones I hate. I don't want. There's certain I really hate peppers. <laughs> Got an absolute. Like, just don't I get... I quite like them. I sometimes eat them raw. What, like an apple? Yeah. <laughs> I do. You fucking do you eat lunatic. I, no, I don't, don't so eat the you middle bit. eat around Yeah, so the I might bust it up with my hands and just eat it. <laughs> like a fucking caveman. Like a piñata. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll hang it from the ceiling and <laughs> kick the shit out of it. I think they taste rubbish. I just never liked it. Really? The only place I've ever enjoyed vitamin, a pepper... Vitamin C is... There's a lot of vitamin yeah, C in them. But I'm getting vitamin C in the other, other ones. Yeah. Like, I am... Um, but like, it's in a fajita, mm. I'll have a pepper oh, and I won't yeah. hate it. But that's the only dish I'll ever enjoy a pepper. I think <laughs> I'm green, saying that green pe- Is it true that they are all the same? The same. They're, they're one. One pepper. <laughs> One pepper in different animal. stages of their life. Yeah, yeah. So actually, isn't it um, greens the most shit? N- uh, the, well, they they knew it, the youngest. Yeah, and it tastes. Like and then shit. it turns yellow. Then it goes. Yeah, is it yellow? Then red. Reverse Orange. traffic lights. Yeah. Yeah. Or is it? Yeah. Red is the oldest. Is it red? Yeah, red's the oldest. Makes yes. sense. So what would it go? Because where does? Yellow, green, red. I would have. Thought. What about orange? You can get orange peppers. Oh yeah. Orange must be pretty red. Teenagers. Yeah. It's not going to come. But it's not going to jump green. in between yeah. green and. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. I get that. So yeah, you're eating the same thing. It's just a, a different thing. Surely. But they have got different qualities too. Though. Surely they don't because don't, 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 most things lose the nutritious. Some nature gain it. As Bananas they get older. gain more potassium the more like soggier they get. But they've also got other good stuff the more riper they are. Right. So yeah, it's does ripe it's not mean pepper. soggy? That's what yeah. I thought. Yeah, raw. What would be the opposite to ripe? Raw, new, <laughs> new, new. No, harder and softer. Let's yeah, call it green. That. The harder your bananas it is. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, what's Less that? What other, um, what's the wonkiest thing you've got in your odd box? Like I got um. <laughs> I got some man's uh, I got some yellow peppers recently. The farmer's finger. I got some Romano peppers, you know the long thin peppers. Oh yeah. I got the yellow yeah, yeah, I got yeah, the yellow yeah. ones, but they were literally like Like a of, witch's finger. <laughs> yeah, it was gross. They were horrible looking. What like that? Like they were all sort of like a quaver. around, yeah. They were bad. I haven't had anything too too wrong yet. I had a cabbage that wasn't on the list. Oh, I was like, someone put a cabbage, cabbage. in there. Yeah. <laughs> Poison pe- cabbage. <laughs> well, I have to say, it was like on the day when we went to war with Russia and I was like, could that, well, I know the we Russian didn't go cabbage. to Russia, but I was like, could this be from them? What type of cabbage? White. White, so just a white, hard, bald cabbage. Yeah, and I did this, I chopped it up and then roasted it. Yeah, did that work? It's fine, <laughs> it's edible. <laughs> See, that would be one I would, on I would saute yeah. my cabbage. It's saute putting salt on it. Fry, fry it. You're basically frying it. Flat, oh. like, sort of quite. <laughs> You're thinking of I'm thinking of salted it. So I, um, you saute. S a u t e with one of the little bits over and the that's e. Just a, a yeah. little shallow like fry. A little pepper over there. A little, little tiny pepper over there. <laughs> but that's um, so you just like hot pan, maybe a bit of sesame oil. Mm. Chuck it in. <laughs> Tiny bit of soy sauce. Man, I'll just eat it raw. (laughs) What? I eat a whole cabbage like an apple. That's why I eat more. You just eat everything like apples. I eat more fruit than vegetables. (laughs) Right. Yeah. I think fruit's nice. You haven't got to cook it either. Just pick it up and eat it. That's true. Mm. And it's like, I I think I'm more sweet toothed. It does help with that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, fruit is good. Yes, very good. Um, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's not <laughs> the podcast, everyone. <laughs> like, but um, I'm finding very good satsuma season we're in currently. Yeah, if you notice that, huge, if you notice huge. this, I've noticed. I've heard about it. That's I a know. shiny, fresh one, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Look how shiny that is, bro. Where's that from? Um, Lidl. No, What's I don't know. Um, I don't know. Oh, Sainsbury's. Okay, yeah. Costa Rica. I do have a, a snobbery about where I get my satsumas from. Really, Marks and Spencers is my well, top too satsuma good for Sainsbury's. shop. No, Sainsbury's I could handle, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm Marks are my favourite satsumas. Marks are the best at everything food-wise, though, aren't they? Pretty much. Or Waitrose. 
What's that? Percy pigs. Can't have them. They were they're not vegan. They are, surely. Vegetarian. They've really? got beeswax in it. Well, that was a myth, was it, that they were vegan? They've never been vegan. I thought they were pork. <laughs> They've always been vegetarian. They're ham. There, there are, there are vegan ones. There was veggie person. What? There are vegan ones, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. they're just really um, Hard chewy. Hard to find. Oh, right. <laughs> really, really rare. But then, yeah. I've got to have a, you got to have a you win a million you're, pounds. You're a director's <laughs> source. I don't really eat sugar except for fruit. Well, I mean, I can, but I'll try not to. Good info there. No, it's and um, <laughs> Anyway, but um, so welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much. <laughs> Where have you been anyway? <laughs> How have I been? Yeah, since I last saw you, you were comparing. Yeah, I think I've been good. And I was late to the stage. <laughs> yeah, last late, time late to the stage. We How I play. was in, what was that place we were Dorchester. Met? Dorchester. Well, we found that mad little restaurant. I can't stop thinking about it. It was insane. It was so good. We had some, like, basically, we went to Dorchester. Uh, have you been to Dorchester? Probably. Nice little town. It's quite far, isn't it? It's pretty. It's way further yeah. than all of us thought it yeah. was going to be. I think I didn't want to go there recently. Well, I thought, I thought in my head, Dorchester sounded like it would be near Guildford. I don't know why. Just it sounds like it can't be far away from London. Yeah, yeah. It turns yeah. out it's really far from London. So far. But driving down and like we were Devon like, way. Turns out it's not that far, but it's the other side of Bournemouth. So yeah, it's far. It's long things. We were like, we've got time. We're getting into town That's what early. The said. <laughs> Did they say this is long things? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> yeah, it was so weird. Do you Sif, go home? Sif top secret need anyone? <laughs> <laughs> but um, we went. To, we had time for dinner when we got there, and I literally went on Happy Cow, the vegan, or it's a fine for finding veggie in vegan places. And it just said there was an Asian fusion bistro in an mm. alleyway, and we we're like, <laughs> this all sounds weird. And we just followed the map, so we walked up an alleyway. We couldn't find it at first. Went up an alleyway, and at the end, it was just this. It was like a magical little house, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was like a a, it was like a woman's house, but with a k- kitchen. Well, yeah. actually, most houses have <laughs> yeah, a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a, a house with a kitchen. <laughs> this is why I can't cook any of my odd box <laughs> of a kitchen. Um, and they had a little dog. She had this little dog. It's delicious. Who one. just <laughs> basically <laughs> chose you as the one. It kept sitting on my lap, and like oh. when I like moved, it would like reverse its bum into yeah, me. Yeah, it just really took to you it really, straight it off really the bat. Sitting on my lap whilst I was trying to eat, and it, the woman didn't like enact any power on the dog. <laughs> like, she or didn't, she didn't even ask you, like, are you all right with the dog sitting yeah, on yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But can... she also, I didn't know the rules about whether the dog was allowed to eat our food as well. Yeah, because it was giving it a good. It I had gave a it bit. A few you gave bits. it. Quite I did give it. Yeah, a bit too much food. We had actually. a tasting menu. I don't know. If, I don't know if pugs are meant to <laughs> well, eat well, Asian sample. fusion food. <laughs> well, you can <laughs> sample stuff there. We had. Well, we the, had a tasting menu. It was cheap to have like yeah. a yeah. relatively, yes. wasn't it? It was twenty quid to have like basically you just. She was like, it, you get. She just reeled off a list of like dishes. So we thought, oh, there'll be little tasters of like ten different types of food, and. um and it was, but they weren't tasters. It was 10. It's basically like they, she brought out 10 main courses over the course of an hour and a half. Yeah. Ended up you had to go to the gig and I had to stay and wait to collect, <laughs> to get, take it as takeaway. To get our pancakes that get, were the yeah. dessert. Did you come away with it? So like, much for, for you. Took, you took it. We, you gave it we to gave me. It to you to well, take the home. car decided that I was the one who needed it most. <laughs> 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 I was the most in need. I couldn't finish it even I'm at home. I was surprised. I had t- those spring rolls, there was rice. I'm but, starving. <laughs> I'm really hungry. You got actually. any left? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I brought it with me to oh, give it cool. back. It's all mouldy. <laughs> but oh. it was so, there was so much food and I was so full that I couldn't think on stage. Yeah. My, all my blood was in in the gut yes it was uh, yeah it was a weird one we really fucked the gig <laughs> <laughs> really I don't know if the blood's apologize. in the gut it was oh well, okay. I did yeah it does, I think it is that figure you looked I don't know the science of it but surely well your body's you're, using you're, you're your using energy, energy to digest food yeah 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 so it so the blood was in the gut so the blood was in the gut <laughs> there's always blood in your gut in there uh, if you drink enough yeah <laughs> I presume so if you, yeah but it was a, it was a real like Mirage in a place where there sh- it felt like it shouldn't have been there. It felt yeah. like if we went back, it would have been empty building. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So and we're like, where's, nice. that, where's that Asian fusion place? You'd be like, what Asian fusion place? The, go- the one died 200 dead. years yeah. ago, got burned <laughs> down. <laughs> uh, the dog was a ghost. Exactly. <laughs> but that is something I've, I've got a real. Um, I'm very fond of finding a little independent place to eat mm. when I go to a town. I've never been to before. I just like a wagger mama, mate. Well, a lot of people, that's what I mean. A lot of comics, I think, do just go straight to the main chains. I like supermarkets, to be honest, and get stuff and take it back and stay in my hotel room. Right. See, I know. I like, I like eating out. I like walking around, mate. 
<laughs> it's not <laughs> seeing anyone. You're not making any human contact no, whatsoever. Ain't yeah, about just get in, sit in the supermarket aisle and tuck in. <laughs> just tuck it. in, bottle of wine. <laughs> one, of, one of the cashiers like, isn't on. She's so just sitting on that little <laughs> yeah, table. Yeah. That little pinny on. <laughs> that would be a great idea. That's not, well, not great. I think that would be a bad idea for a restaurant that could exist. Where you, you sit at like a cash <laughs> pill and the food comes to you on like the little conveyor belt. Oh, if the, oh, if the conveyor belt's involved, then yes. Yeah, then I, I, I'm, I'm on board. But um, they're too quick, though. What would it be like a chip at a time? Spaced out <laughs> yeah, every yeah, foot, yeah, yeah, one yeah, foot yeah, yeah. apart. But you'd have control over it, little foot pedal. Or someone no, else could control it. They're not controlled by yeah. foot pedals. Normally, they're just a sensor, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're sensors. Because I've seen when it's, you know, that's how it can... Sometimes if you put something there, like bread... Mm-hmm. Yeah, the bread it will hit the bread will hit and stop the travel it's quite later. A good system. It doesn't got, just keep yeah, moving. Yeah, there's no and... way that they're concentrating on doing a foot pedal. Yeah, no. <laughs> scanning. That'd be the most. Uh, it's mad. <laughs> it's like doing a sewing machine. But um, yeah, I think I think it's all sensors. They're, they're not giving them the, the the control of that. Yeah. But so yeah, if it was a food travelator, the speed of it, you'd really need to space your food out correctly to give you time to. I reckon you could do a chip every two foot. Two foot. Well, because think two foot. You, um, 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 um. It goes faster than <laughs> um, that, um, though. Um. Yeah, you're right. Actually, I think it's a really hard job. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, need yeah, at least yeah, two yeah. meters. But I think novelty, like having a conveyor belt in anything, I think is fun. Yeah. Where do you stand on like a yo sushi? I remember, like, we had a yo sushi in the town, like next door, and that's where my dad, my parents were divorced. Where like, did you grow up? Town. Well, this is in High Wycombe. Oh. So there's a town next door to that called Marlow. Mm. Um, but my dad would when we'd like go for our like one day out when he'd come to pick me up we'd go yo sushi nice and Aww. it was just the experience the conveyor belt just blew my mind because I was like well, you when you were like this. little kid yeah 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 that's nice yeah I was like this still is go there with him? no did you always go all, <laughs> all did you always go all belt <laughs> all belt yeah that's the, because the problem with being vegan is you have, you have to, to go get off, off the belt, belt. Well, I, then when I went vegan I was like well, can't they at least just like put it on near you so yeah, that like, yeah. they deliver it like, a few <laughs> just, centimetres Just to give me down. the illusion that yeah. I'm part of the game. Yeah. But yeah, you have to go. Uh, they, I mean, I do like a Wagamama's um, tofu katsu curry. It's yeah. very nice. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I, um, I was in Manchester yesterday and I was trying to find somewhere like nice to eat, but I couldn't. The Wagamama's was so big that I like felt like I couldn't get past it. It was like <laughs> taking up my whole vision. They have like a massive and they had like a massive rainbow flag. On the Wagamama's logo, yeah, yeah, and I was yeah, like, "That's yeah. great for, for what?" I think for for, for pride. Oh, I think. Or they just I'm or NHS. No. Oh. <laughs> oh god, I ain't going here. Then. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to Weather Spoons. <laughs> we were saying George's Cross outside. <laughs> the opposite of the Union pride flag. Jack hat. <laughs> <laughs> but I went to a little um, a little vegan restaurant there. Had carrot and lentil soup. Oh, I bet Manchester's Ooh. good for that stuff. It's got some nice size. I think spice. it was, but I was just so like overwhelmed and so I felt like so like dead after all the travel strikes and stuff. I just yeah. couldn't yeah. make any decisions, and I was like, I just want, I want someone to put the food in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah I want to yeah. sit in the middle of Manchester. That's another idea for a restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a good someone, idea. Like a baby. Feed it. <laughs> um, they feed you like a baby. That'd be nice. Just spoon. Aeroplane. I don't know. I'd, I'd be I'd be more uncomfortable with them spooning something into my mouth. If they did it. They just plop yeah. like a croquette in my mouth. <laughs> something I could I could bite. I'm cool with that. But yeah. a spoon in my mouth would feels a bit. Could hold an apple. Or something. Yeah. You, you loved your apple. What was your favourite apple type? You know what, Pink Lady. Probably. Yeah, me too. Healthiest. Um, Is it? Breed of apple. Oh, it like. tastes like biting <laughs> into a breed. Haribo. It's so sweet. Yeah, yeah they like are. But they're, they're apparently things. pound for pound the most healthy apples. Yeah, I, I mean, I literally read that once. <laughs> it could be absolutely. I haven't shit. eaten a green apple in a long time. You know, proper. I've never green. liked a, what, That's a Granny sign Smith. that you're living a nice life. Yeah, <laughs> Granny Smiths. I've always found them they're, too tough. They're really a bit sour, aren't yes. they? Good for crumbles. Are they? I've got an idea. <laughs> you make crumbles. <laughs> it's, it's true. <laughs> but a big old cooking apple is surely what you're aiming for. Well, this is... So you can't cook, but you make a crumble, do you? Well, that's the one thing I know how to make. But I've had an idea for an event, yes. which is a crumble party. Right. Where oh, I invite people. I'm busy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got stuff on that day. No, no, no. Just wait. And everyone brings a different flavour of crumble. How many flavours have you got, though? In, in, my, in my life, I've had a rhubarb crumble, an apple yeah. crumble, well, then a blueberry. That's also, what, also, you a, can come. A, but that's only three. I, so I've had three different types. Pear, pear, I've had a pear crumble. Banana crumble. You, could you, probably, could, you couldn't have Ham and cheese. 
<laughs> Are you going savoury crumbles? If people, I'm not going to enforce any rules. I think, I mean, a savoury crumble changes the game. We're not allowed to have the same crumble there. Yeah, that no, no two crumbles can be the same. So who, do you, how do you decide who gets dibs on, like, who gets apple crumble? Well, I guess if you bring the same as someone else, then you have to add something you to, to yours. Leave. You have to <laughs> yeah. go to find another party, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, big crumbles. In, that's uh, what are we doing? One well, big share of crumble. My flatmate seems to he has a real problem with this idea. So I'm looking for a new flatmate, not you. Um, you're anti my crumble party. But I think I just wait, I'll just stay in my room while the party's <laughs> happening. Um he says that there'll be too much crumble. Mm. So I've said like if everyone makes a smaller one. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Good a big idea. ideas girl. Yeah. You can have a DJ and all that. No. No, just crumble. <laughs> just crumble. No music. <laughs> no music, just crumble. <laughs> just watch telly. Um, I, yeah, I, I think... Bad idea. I don't think it's a bad idea. You could idea. have alcoholic crumbles. Ketamine crumbles. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Man, If you cook it, you're cooking Mandy the alcohol pie. off, aren't you? Are you? Yeah. yeah. Pour, it, pour it, it back, back on. on. <laughs> 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 just tip it all over the cooked product. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that is uh, so you can. It doesn't sound like a great that, party. It doesn't. I don't. Think, I think. Yeah, I think. I've had like normal parties as well. All right, I wasn't <laughs> saying that you ain't a party girl. <laughs> <laughs> I've had really good parties without crumble as well. <laughs> all right, all right. You don't keep talking about it. What's <laughs> your, so your parties cooking wise? Yeah, you can cr- You can do a crumble. What yeah. about where? Where? What, what are your other limitations cooking wise? I can make. I don't. Re- I burnt pasta once, which that's, fit. That's how the hell? <laughs> Hang on, no. What, I mean, well, you oh, overboiled it. No. The, once it was in a sauce and stuff. No. What? So <laughs> toasted it. <laughs> you roasted the <laughs> dry <laughs> pasta. <laughs> well, it went because I've done that before. I've overboiled it and it's gone a bit soggy. No, well, yeah. I said burnt. How, how do you burn a lighter? pasta? <laughs> Yeah, it was, I was smoking some with a penne. <laughs> <laughs> like an amlet. <laughs> on the edge of my crumble party. Um, I <laughs> In the garden. <laughs> <laughs> I I had a small saucepan. Yes. And it somehow got really hot and I had the boiling water in it. And then I put the spaghetti on the side. Yeah. And the edge was so hot that it burnt the uh, spaghetti along the, on the, along the rim. That would do it, yeah. Um, Did you eat it? Yeah. <laughs> Tasted like <laughs> shit. I oh, did it, yeah. I thought you might you could have discovered something good there. Have no. you ever seen the video? They went shit. <laughs> have you seen that video that went viral probably four months ago would be a guess of a a, a woman who whose her boyfriend is Italian and she's making pasta yeah, and she I've snaps it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he loses his shit. He, I think they've got a few alternate ones That's as well funny. where they're doing obviously that Italian is such, stuff. That is such a no-go in Italian cooking. Yeah, Because yeah. I snap my spaghetti because I've got a toddler and sh- it's easier for her to eat. Yeah. So I do it for that reason. But even then, I snap I... it so it fits in the pan. But no, but it's, yeah, it so sinks in. Right? It. It might, oh, yeah. Within about a minute, it's it's all in there anyway. Yeah. But um, it's I don't make it, but if I did, <laughs> but no, so I've I've I been imagine I've been snapping my spaghetti for two. Years. I used to eat it dry. <laughs> 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 Every, I've said loads of things that sound like a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cole snapping his spaghetti in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, I was late. I'm snapping my spaghetti. Slapping um, your banana. It's um, what's your favourite pasta shape, <laughs> guys? Um, uh, <laughs> this the ones with the holes in, like little um, so tunnels. that the sauce can go. The little yeah, tunnels. The, <laughs> the, <laughs> the sauce goes in. Penne is Italian for little tunnels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they are. Yeah, that's penne is the little tunnels. And yeah. the twisty ones. Twisty, twisty one is for silly, like isn't it? The parcels. Oh, is <laughs> Sorry, for silly, yeah, yeah. It is for silly. Not helter scale. Is that what they call it? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> for, si- for foosley. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, and the parcel ones with spinach and stuff inside. Like a, they used that, to like. like tortellini. A, a tortellini. I don't really eat pasta, you know. Really? Yeah. I love it. I don't really eat it either. Like rice, potatoes. Um, cool. <laughs> like you're in a prison. <laughs> Porridge. I am. Um, I love, uh, what's the fat Dog spaghetti? Shit. Is it fettuccine or something? It's basically just Italian like telly. Ribbon. Yeah, it's like a ribbon. That's the best one. Because mm. I always think it just holds the sauce better than a like spaghetti. A like little bow ties. No, little no, no, bow no. ties is what I was what thinking. Yeah. What are they called? Pasta. I don't know. <laughs> Food. Who's got that great routine? 
about oh, Sarah Barron's got a great oh. routine about oh, sure. just that moment of like shouting at your ch- child in a, in a supermarket. They're all a fucking insane. There's <laughs> different shapes. <laughs> oh, Very let your funny. kid have what shape they want. I mean, I think she's overblown it for comedy purposes. I don't think she does shout at her <laughs> daughter in a supermarket. Sh- she shouldn't exaggerate for comedy purposes. <laughs> <laughs> be nice to you. <laughs> um, don't joke about your funny. kids. Because what is no, you? Uh, far, yeah. <laughs> don't do Which that. Which one? Your kids. Far it's sad. Fally? Is far, that the bow? Far, far Fally's the bow. The little bow ties. There okay, we go. Cool. Thank you. Full house. Because oh. is your name Italian? Yeah. First name's Polish. Right. And Anya. <coughs> I forgot it there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying it out for this podcast. You, where, where in Italy is the Magliano come from? Well, I thought it, I th- I've lived like my whole life thinking that it was from Naples. Okay. And I went to Naples in the break between lockdowns. It's from Little Venice near Paddington. <laughs> 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 but he, I, I texted my dad being like, do I have any relatives here that I could like go and go and stay with? And he was like, that's not where we're from. Come borrow yeah, the center off. Where Just like the middle, we're from a town called Bizaccia, okay. which is like very, very, very small. And like we went back there for my grandparents' like 80th birthdays when I like when I was maybe a couple of years, like ages ago now. But, Time, yeah. It's just a <laughs> grapple with time really quickly <laughs> live, um, <laughs> and uh, it's literally like the sort of town where everyone comes to the window when someone uh, arrives. Yeah, 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 <coughs> There's yeah. nothing there. Is it like proper living. olive what, trees? What, the inside win- of nice. the window? <laughs> so what as you walk into the house, they all come to the window? They all surround, your, they all surround your house <laughs> and charm. That's what you meant when you're eating dinner, like everyone comes to the windows. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, like burning sticks. <laughs> surround the house, you know, just sing no, their like songs. When, when you arrive to the town, everyone's at their windows being like, what's going on? Oh, who is this stranger coming, coming yeah. into town? Yeah, so I haven't really been. I haven't, that was the only time I've been that I've been to Italy. Like once when I went last in between lockdown. Where did you go then? A town called a, a <laughs> what's it? Island. That's the word. It's called Ischia. Ish Ischia. Okay. It's nice. Check it out. Who I bet it's Italy? nice. Um, I, I don't think I have. You know, no. It's great. Never been. Touring. I had it booked. While I was going to go to Pantelleria, a little island. It's mm. Supposed to be beautiful, but okay. I don't know why I ended up not going. Hated it. Um, Turin is the like vegan capital of, Osh- of it- Italy. Is it? As a Turin, people, yeah. not really. The, 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 the mayor of Turin wanted to make the entire city vegan. <laughs> Obviously, everyone that lives there went, no. <laughs> I'm going to remember not, that I have been to Italy in a minute, by the way. Right. At the okay, moment, right. I can't remember. Yeah, been to yeah. Ven- I went to Venice when I was 17. And um, it's lovely. It stinks, but it's lovely. But uh, <laughs> it's a bit rude to say that. But it does. It smells. But it's good. nice. A big family in Italy. The meal times. Is it all like? Yeah, it was a bit. But like we we aren't like a very Italian family. When my dad was raised here, him and my aunt, like the thing that they were being told was like, don't raise your children with like Italian culture because really? it will confuse them. And they don't. Neither of them speak Italian because they weren't. Uh, okay. For long, they were like, it will make them thick if they know more than one language because their brain won't be able to keep it in. <laughs> That's the opposite. Yeah, 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 really annoying to find out now. Oh God. <laughs> they were. <laughs> they could have. They could have been so clever. They are. But um, yeah, so we went back, but there aren't that many family like still they're all sort of dead. Yeah. Um, but we had this big mafia. <laughs> Do you know what my granddad like? If you ask him about the mafia, he will not talk about it. Really? So I don't know whether he's not a grass. That's why. Exactly. He's a good <laughs> man. They're still chasing him down. <laughs> he's he's relocated. Yeah. He's on witness protection. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They made a film about him, Goodfellas. <laughs> I am um, true story. My, uh, I can probably say it now. He's dead. My uncle was in witness protection for. <sighs> Sometime for what dead dead from not being protected well enough. Um, no, he luckily, luckily died of um, just diseases. <laughs> but he uh, they did a good he was, job. He was old, but he um, he used to be in the air force. He was in the Australian Air Force. Okay, and he then became like a he, he bought a plane afterwards when he came out. And he became like a sort of commercial small plane pilot, mm-hmm. and he would just like do loads of different jobs in that ferry people around and stuff. And he was where was he? So I think he was because he he lived the last decade of his life in basically this 
tiny, crazy little town. It just sort of, do you know, in, you go up to Scotland and then you go up and then down the little peninsula to like oh, Dumfries. England. Is it Dumfries or something? That <laughs> little bit. <laughs> but there's a, London. there's a bit of Scotland that is like lower than the border. It's that weird little like hook that goes oh, down. Oh, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So he just lived in a tiny fishing village there for the last decade. Just grassy And I mountain. found out why. Apparently... He um he got he, he got approached to start shipping drugs by <gasps> by some people so like, by my dad by quite <laughs> quite heavy big drug time drug dealers wow and the sort of there was an air of threat to the fact that if he didn't do it then something bad would happen and then so he actually ended up um, working with the police to basically get them. He was a grass. He was a he was a dirty grass. Fair and, enough. You know and uh, and so did they catch them? Uh, but yeah, he did. He, so he he basically did the did, did the journey. I would with have worked it. with the police and then the drug dealers. Yeah, like just double Play fucking played yeah, them yeah, off. Yeah, get yeah, the money. Yeah. Get the money. Get the protection. But yeah, and he, do um, the drugs. And then he just basically just. I think they got arrested, and then okay. he went and lived in this tiny, like fishing village in the middle of nowhere. New for, name for the last period of his life. Yeah, did you still New know pin him? number. I went and, uh, did I go and visit Same him? Same mobile, though, they kept <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, forgot to change his number. I didn't actually see him, probably. The drug dealer just called him back. <laughs> just got him on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, I didn't see him. Uh, got to turn that thing off on his phone where you can... I'm my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> drug dealer on it. Location service is off. Yeah, yeah. Stay on, that's all you got to do. On hinge. <laughs> 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 but he, um, no, he was... Um, he just, that was wow. that. Wow. Yeah. And I didn't, I remember finding out just not long before he died. Right. And then um, go. I went up to the, to the place where he died. To fucking weigh him in. <laughs> yeah, I, I, fucking, I put a word out, I know where he is. sniper. <laughs> <laughs> I went and just shanked him in the shower. <laughs> um, but, you know. Put him to I sleep. I had to do what I had to do. Get that money. <laughs> it's mad that like people, you kind of don't, I wouldn't really assume that anyone actually goes to witness protection, but I guess that means they're doing a good job of it. But I don't, I don't yeah, know if he, yeah. I suppose I actually don't know who. Might be one of your neighbours or something. Like he just, he lived mm -hmm. in this little house and he had a little boat and he just sort of kept himself to himself. I don't know if he had a different name or anything. I don't know what the full he must outcome. Have done. Of, yeah, maybe. But yeah. Anytime I'd speak to him on the phone, I didn't have to call him by a different name or anything. <laughs> so... Call me Mate. by your name. Yeah. <laughs> you called him granddad though, didn't you? My uncle. Oh. I didn't call him. <laughs> Don't you call your uncle Grand granddad? <laughs> granddad. <laughs> I just thought granddad might have been his name. <laughs> That's my dad's dad's name, yeah, granddad. <laughs> yeah. Small world. What you, yeah, it's, it's a weird one. I don't I'm, we're trying to work out what uh Twyla should call our my parents and yeah. my wife's parents. Like what's the uh I just Nana, see what granddad. she wants to call them. Yeah. Nana, nanny, granddad. Yeah, because yeah. like my my um, I don't know, I don't know if he'd listen to this. My father-in-law really sort of pushed to have a, like a, a nickname. Oh yeah. And I was like, it's like I don't know, I don't is that, is that allowed? I don't think you just get a to specific say, nickname or yeah. a nickname in general. Like a sort of grand, a nice granddad nickname. Mm -hmm. But I like, call my nan Nana as opposed to nanny. Yeah, I think, I think Nana. that's what my cousins called my grandma. What did you call her? Grandma, obviously. Cat, a cow. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. Oh, cow. Uh, no, I call her. I called her grandma because I found nanny really cringy to say. Yeah, I think it's about what you, what the kids like. So I, I was uh, when he was sort of pushing for it. I was like, I don't think you get. What's to he pick pushing your... for? His DJ name. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Grandad Master Flash. Um, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I just, I, I think he, he wasn't really pushing, but he was like, I would like her to call me this. And we, well, I was like, that's not the rules, is it? You don't, get to, you don't get to. No, you can't request what they call you. They, yeah. they will decide. Yeah, my my mum was the same though. She requested, I think. Yeah, I forget what. Lead, great leader. <laughs> <laughs> the Fiora. <laughs> what, did, um, what did he request? What was the word? Uh, I, I, I don't want to, just in case, I don't want to put his private business yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, out there in case he listens. We'll it's say, his name on it, say, it was more of a concept. I'd never heard anyone request that. <coughs> we'll say it on pay, grandfather Patreon. <laughs> yeah. If you want to pay two pounds a two month. Two pounds a month, I'll dig out my father-in-law for <laughs> 45 minutes a week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tune in now, everyone. It must um, be quite bad. Though. He's a lovely so man. So I'm very fond of my in-laws. I've got great be, ones. Do you, how do you request from your kid? Do you have kids? Yeah. Yeah. Do that. What do they call you? Mine. She, well, she's she's only eighteen. Nine to twenty Strange. months now. So she calls me <laughs> she calls me Dada. And now she's recently started to really for a laugh. 
like go for a big over the top daddy. She'll go dad. D. Yeah. And she, I think she's worked out that it's quite a funny word to say. Ren yeah. sometimes calls me Papa or Dada. Papa? <laughs> How is that one? Like you're in Pinocchio or something. She's 29. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's eight, but she, she just calls me. She Papa. Just jokes, jokes. I quite like that. She calls feels me Papa. European, doesn't it? Papa yeah. John's. <laughs> <laughs> Papa J. Um, Papa, yeah. Papa's quite cool, actually. <laughs> she calls me Dad. She calls me a few different things, yeah. Because I thought, yeah, I was always a dad, mum. Keep it simple, one yeah. syllable, no fucking about. But did you ever have to make the trans... Because I feel like you naturally call them daddy and mummy when you're younger. But then yeah. at one point you have to transition to dad and No, I, that was an adult thing. When I was young, I used to call them by their first names. That's cool. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I've got friends who call their parents by their first names. I've always been like, what is, what is, that's weird. Yeah, yeah. I used to call my dad Dada when I was a little baby. And it, it was always, as I was growing up, he always used to say, remember you used to call me Dada? I was going like, oh, shut up. But then... I remember when he died, I called him Dada. That was sad. Wasn't oh, it? God. Very sad. That's nice. It was nice Very for nice. him, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not, not the best comedy podcast. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm, joking, I'm joking, joking. It's nice. It's a nice little that's story. Really, that's beautiful. I don't know what I call my... I just... My dad... I call my dad Dad, but he'll sign his texts to me, either just D... But his name's also David. Big D. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you sure it's from your dad on Valentine's Day? <laughs> I got, um, on my birthday, um, he sent me a card that said, uh, to Anya, happy birthday, love daddy. But all in like big block capitals that he wrote with a sharpie. And there was just a post-it note that said, I owe you a present. Like a ransom note. <laughs> and I was with my friend. And Cut letters out of a paper. <laughs> My friend was like, that's going to be terrifying when your actual card from your dad arrives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, weird. Uh, my parents um, would always forget my birthday. <laughs> that's a oh, true okay. story. From like too young. You're allowed to forget when your kids are fully grown up, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. I remember like being 15. Mm -hmm. My parents would just, would just forget. <laughs> and I'd be like, this oh. is too young for this, guys. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, 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 Just yeah. hold it together for another three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three and then I'll let, it, I'll let it slide. When is your birthday? 13th of January. Oh, already gone. <sighs> yeah. I didn't forget it. I remembered that it was 13th of January. Not that I'll buy you presents, but <laughs> <laughs> I remember that it's your birthday. Just for your own peace of mind. I didn't know, so I didn't not remember. Well, can you put it in your diary now? Because he I needs will. to. I put it in the <laughs> needs to heal that childhood. <laughs> um, yeah, I do like because I, I never because of like my childhood mm -hmm. of bad birthdays. Never had a, like, I've never I've never had a I had my first ever birthday party, in terms of like actually having a party. Obviously, when I was eighteen, like and seventeen, yeah, go out yeah. drinking and stuff. But my t first time I ever had a proper like birthday party it was probably when I was about thirty. Yeah, my, I just never had one when I was a kid. Really, my parents just didn't do birthdays. You do nice stuff now, though, don't you? Yeah, like and this. Yeah, this is your birthday. This is my birthday. Happy birthday, man! But my, uh, my, my my wife's very, th like she's very thoughtful with birthdays, mm. and she's really she really leans into them and loves it. She and so her family did all the birthday party stuff, so she's great at all that. Are Whereas, you good at that back? Uh, yeah, I'm good at it because I've learned to be good at it yeah. in adulthood. Because I think I'm quite a good like thoughtful birthday to other people but it's all like because I know when it comes around I'm like I want that back <laughs> yeah. and then when it comes around <laughs> oh, and then you're, <laughs> you're casting a net out is what you're doing for the year giving yeah, to yeah, receiving yeah yeah, yeah 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 oh it's all contractual yeah yeah <laughs> and then when it comes around I'm like in my head I'm like was that as good as what I did for yours you have to go and check it on your spreadsheet <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if it's scores. not then they're cut out my life That's, right they're off the Dead. list yeah, boom for good um, it, is a, it is a weird one. I felt like this Christmas I felt I would really, my wife overdid me so much. Like she bought me so many cool things. And I went for a, I went for a, a smaller selection than normal. Right. A couple of really cool things. But like, I just felt like I'd, I'd lost that round mm -hmm. quite substantially this year for the first time. Or I've, won it if you got more stuff. Oh, I won in terms of receiving, but, like but that's, that's, about, that's not. I don't think what it comes down to. No, it's I, like the f the feeling that's of a like W to me, mate. <laughs> 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 no, I yeah, I definitely came away with like, oh god, I don't think I've done it. I think that was a really. I'm not in a relationship right now, and I think that was one of the most stressful parts of it. Was like <laughs> birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Christmas. It's a high and hard. the rest of it. And anniversaries <laughs> and Valentines. Yeah, and like Mondays. Luckily, we're we're not a Valentine's Friday couple. Nights. Like we don't do Valentine's. Do you not know? No. Classic. From day one, we never really just got on board of it. So, um, anniversary, 
No, do you know what? We haven't really done. We don't really do anniversaries. We what, ma- marriage it. ones, yeah. yeah Not like 9 right. 11. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we always do gifts on 9 11, yeah. <laughs> Cake of a couple of little towers. <laughs> um, Play Jenga. <laughs> Shoot your AKs up into the air <laughs> in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh God. Aeroplanes with each other's face. <laughs> oh, how old are you when nine eleven happened? Sorry, that's such a gear shift. <clears throat> Three. Three. Fuck. Yeah. No, that is, um, young man. Yeah. And um, didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, you're the only. <laughs> that's my most, alibi. Most innocent person. How old are you, Phoebe, when it happened? Uh, I think it was about four or five. Okay, so you're both you're both off the hook. You're innocent. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Me and Julian are the only suspects <laughs> in the room. Uh, it was. What do you remember? What you were doing on nine eleven? Yeah, I was working. Yeah, and I remember we were actually doing sales. So we we're on the phone to New York when it hit like two o'clock. Oh, really? We'd ring New York at two o'clock because it'd be like nine a.m. their time, and um, someone was on the phone and they were like, "New York, uh, a plane's just gone into the building." Fuck. And I went upstairs and I told other people and they were like, thought I was joking because yeah, yeah. I was always talking shit. And um, and then the second one went in and then, yeah, it was just fucking, we all had to leave the office and stuff. Mm. But I was messing around like, there's a plane and everyone was doing yeah, that yeah, one. Because yeah, yeah. Yeah. we were in a high building and we just went to the pub. Yeah. I, we didn't, I did not take it seriously at all until I saw the footage. I sat at home yeah. that night and just watched yeah. it and people jumping from the building and, and I was watching Die Hard. But after that <laughs> not really, but like yeah, it was fucking heavy, man. It was wasn't so it? heavy. It was like, but we so didn't bad. me and my mates had ju- we were in the we were flying. We were in the air when it happened. Really? We were flying back from Spain. And um heading for the Pentagon. <laughs> 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 but uh, we were um, so we didn't know obviously they didn't tell, them, tell anyone on the yeah, plane they didn't announce over it the over tunnel. the intercom <laughs> but when it, fucking they, <laughs> good they didn't as well innit but we landed just at, stabbing people <laughs> up <laughs> at Gatwick we landed and that getting off the plane took longer than normal yeah and then we got into baggage reclaim and there was thousands of people the bags oh. weren't coming through but it turns out they were checking almost every bag they thought it was going to be like a wave of it across europe and everything right, yeah. so our bags finally came through i had a samurai sword in my checked luggage of course you <laughs> what that you brought i bought in there I'd, I'd bought it in spain it was only it was sort of an ornamental one that was about two foot long right and like i checked with customs i was like can i bring this back it's like a it's like a gift i bought for myself and they were like they, they were so cool they went blood this, all is, over this it. is definitely probably <laughs> Pre like nine eleven, I reckon it'd be different now. They were like, "Oh, just, chuck it, your, just chuck it in your hold in your hold luggage. You'll be fine. Just don't take it in the in the in the um." You got cabin. that through the day before nine eleven. No, on the on so the I was on the day. So anyway, bags come out after about an hour. That hour while we were waiting in baggage reclaim, word went round like there's been a terrorist attack in New York. We didn't know what was going on. It's been a plane. Mm. We were just laughing and joking. We just come back from a lad's holiday. Yeah. No one in that baggage reclaim realized what was truly happening. So we were just laughing, getting back from our holidays. Then I got picked up, and on the way home, it was on the radio. And I was like, oh, this is, everyone's very serious about this. It must yeah. be quite big. <laughs> I didn't know what the Twin Towers were. Yeah. And then I got home and put the news on, and I was like, oh, I, I'm all hungover and fucking, you know, sort of sunburned. And I suddenly just realised how bleak it was. And I was like, oh, shouldn't I be making it? Was heavy, what, what, it was heavy, man. It was heavy watching it. It yeah. was so heavy. I hope that's the worst thing in our lifetime we'll see, eh? Yeah. Because it was so, yeah, it was such a... <laughs> Because it was also it was almost as well. You extra you think you're gonna live longer than me? A hundred percent. I I don't know. I think maybe I, I'm quite like Have you logged the reckless. sort of age that you're like if I get to that I'll be happy? No. One 41. <laughs> yeah, cool, good one. If I get to one million, I'll relax. <laughs> Have you logged an age that you'd be quite happy to just tap? No, out? I wanna hit all hundred. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All hundred. That's why I'm fighting hard. That's why you've got all the fruit. Yeah. That's mad. Do you have one? 75. <laughs> really? That, yeah. That's young. Yeah, but I, I feel like you've done enough by I then. Go out on a high. Nothing, after when 75, I, nothing great's going to happen. When I'm 75, I want to like, have new hobbies and t- a new career. Yeah, I do. Dying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's going to be my new hobby. I don't, yeah. Dying really peacefully and Yeah, I don't want to be in a nursing home unless it's a really nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to be like angry then after 75? Well, I might, I might, if I'm, I might be happy and be like, oh, actually, I'm really happy to happy, maintain this. A happy old man I want to be. Like, yeah, I'd, 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 really likeable. I think I will be. I think I will like be. a poem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
But yeah, I think you can. I, I'm not saying anyone over 75 doesn't have any good quality of life. I just think, no, I, think I will feel are, so. like I, I definitely would have done enough with my life. Yeah. And I just, it would be nice just to go, bloop, and then just... <laughs> A bit of a cyanide pill. Is that what you keep one on? Well, by then, I reckon, I reckon this. Have you seen them euthanasia pods they've yeah. designed that are like. Oh, in Ikea. <laughs> 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 um, they're like, this literally looks like a, a spaceship. You get lost in Ikea and up in one of them. <laughs> but you get in it, apparently. Apparently, you die in seconds. Oh. So quick. And well, how? Someone puts a bullet in your head. <laughs> <laughs> just shoots it up into the sun. Um, just an ejector. I think it must, be, it must be some sort of gas. No parachute. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what kind of gas? Because even the gas that they use capital pu- for capital punishment is painful. They don't use isn't gas it? for capital. It's so they not anymore. I know, I'm thinking of inject- Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're thinking of mustard gas We're really from World off War One. The big topics on this one. But um, no, I think um, a, a lethal injection. You get a cocktail of drugs and like first Just one with a little umbrella in it. <laughs> Like Del Charlie Boy. Temple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sex on the beach, please. Mar- 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 oh, Marlene. <laughs> no, I think the first one is... This a, time next year, I'll be millionaires. The first one numbs you, so you can't oh, yeah. feel it. The oh, second shit. one, and it, no, by the third one, it sort of stops I bet sometimes heart. they don't go, this, don't, don't numb this <laughs> nonce. So apparently, there's been some horrible mishaps. Yeah. Which is um, bad. But, um, Why yeah. not just a bullet in the nut? Because the old school mafia style. The Dignitas one over in... Where's that? Switzerland. Switzerland. That's like a little shot you do, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. One, like, one for the road. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. <laughs> 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 Apparently, then it, sort of, it just shuts everything down. One sort of. for the grave. <laughs> <laughs> but um, did you not watch? Did you ever watch that documentary about five years ago where it showed the guy taking his life? No. He was really, he, he was really ill and old and it? he was fading and he just wanted to. What did you say? <laughs> I don't want to know. Just, I'll do that. I, don't, I don't even want to listen back to that bit. But. Um, yeah, and, it's like, and it followed his story that he decided he wanted to die with dignity. Really? And his, him and his wife were on the sofa and they had their final chat. And then we should just define it. dignity differently then. If they, he thinks him dying alone in a room is still dignified, no, he didn't. isn't it? Yeah, he no, but he, died I mean, on the sofa. He died on the sofa with his wife and the, everyone around him. Like, it was really oh, hassle. And then, <laughs> <laughs> Give me some peace, but, love. Uh, but like, you know, I think he, was, I th- he had a degenerative <laughs> disease, so it was gonna, he was going to have no quality of life in his own um, opinion. A lot of people that actually wait. Like goggle box. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was watching it, I was, I was eating a bunch of Chinese takeaway. Criticising Watching him. a bloke take his life. Look at his shoes. <laughs> Who wears a jacket with that shirt? But um, oh. it was pretty harrowing. And then you just he takes it and you just watch God this guy die. Him. And it did, I mean, I won't lie, not to sound crass. But it was fun. But the actual initial <laughs> moment where he took it. Yeah. It must be quite a horrible thing to taste, and then uh, he sort You're of made like death. Uh, Unless it was yeah. like a nice flavour. It was quite a, gr- a, a tough, <laughs> tough few <laughs> seconds. Yeah, they need to flavour it up or something. Yeah, because it looked quite rough for about five seconds, and then very peaceful. Yeah. After that, so like. I don't think I like death. No. No, you've, you've talked about drink. this before. You're quite. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like. I don't, I don't know. I think I'm making a little bit more peace of it as long as I go out like a hero. <laughs> Just swinging, <laughs> swinging. As long as I'm coming, as long as I'm moving forward, hitting a pepper. <laughs> exactly. I um, I, yeah, I've got. I'm quite chilled about death. I've had a real. Uh, I've spent a lot of time thinking about it in my life. I, d- I wouldn't. I was very morose when I was a kid. After a stabbing. I was a real creepy little kid of thinking about death. <laughs> you said bleeding out. Of. <laughs> 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 I was thinking I thought about death so much. I remember once I was cycling home and I like just thought like one day I'm not going to be around. Don't then... cycle. <laughs> <laughs> they die all the time. That's fine. That's not. It was a kid in like a countryside. It was fine. Oh, that's all right. Um, and then like just for the next like, six knee. months I couldn't sleep because I was so worried about How death. How old were you? I was about maybe like 14 then. Okay. I must have told it on here about the creepiest. I was about three years old. Oh. Uh, and my mum couldn't find me and she was looking like searching the house and then she walked into her bed uh, my dad's bedroom hide and seek and i was just <laughs> sat on the end of the bed crying just but to myself just oh. like i wasn't i wasn't wailing i was yeah. just sort of sobbing and my mum sat next to me and said like what's happened what's happened and i turned to her and said one day i'm gonna die Fuck i was three 
And I just saw it. Was that your first words? I just said, yeah. <laughs> One day you're going to die. <laughs> miss One day you're all going to die. <laughs> and, uh, and she said, like, I was just, it was just, I'd had this weird realization that death was God. something that would happen <clears throat> to me as well. And do you remember that? You don't uh, remember that? I sort of remember. I remember some, I did some creepy things around that time. <laughs> I used to, I, I, I used to sleep. I, <laughs> <laughs> I used to groom paedophiles. I, uh, Pretend you're a trucker online. <laughs> but I, uh, I used to, I used to sleepwalk a bit, and my, I remember, oh, I remember the yeah. dreams that I would have when I was sleepwalking. They were always like a vampire chasing me down the hall and stuff. I used to get and my parents would wake dreams. up and I'd be yeah. in their room just like screaming in my sleep. I used to sometimes be a vampire in my dream. Oh, really? That's quite cool. Like I used to bite. Um, a girl's neck my next door neighbour she was older than me so I went on but like I used to bite her neck and stuff right. in your dream in my dream it was about five yeah it was quite, ero it was quite erotic, erotic yeah. yeah yeah um Se sexy yeah, it was it's a bit hot young actually it was I used to have you, sex so you remember you really saying young, that that's yeah. really creepy yeah <laughs> Like when I was, I remember like in nursery, like <laughs> when I, not when I wasn't working there, <laughs> I, was, I was going there. Um, <laughs> but we've got to wrap it up. So I just seen the time. Um, it's just we've already been chatting for long. Um, sorry, I didn't realize there's probably somebody waiting outside to use the studio. Vegetables uh, and death. Yeah, we got carried away talking about death. 9 11. We didn't plan any of this chat. I planned that. Yeah, I was like, I'm bringing it. that up no matter what. <laughs> Odd box, 9 11. <laughs> Let's do this. If we accept death, you can enjoy life, eh? That's what I find. Mm. Make the most of it. You're not convinced. <laughs> Except, yeah, I, I, I agree. Okay, well, <laughs> now just we're convinced sorted. Me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Sorted. sorted. You're so, welcome. Um, <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Um, you are doing Edinburgh and stuff. I am. You? Yeah. Yes. Officially. Debut show. Debut show. Good. It's exciting a debut show. Yeah, I think it is. The, yeah, I hope it's all right. Where's your show on? Ple Pleasance. What time? Four forty. No, four thirty-five p.m. Time. Yeah. No. I'm <laughs> I'll be doing it again at four thirty-five a.m. Oh, for any oh, real in the fans. Street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the love I'll be doing bar. A, a run. <laughs> and are you you're previewing it obviously up yeah, until all then? Around. Excellent. Incessant. Um and people can check you out online. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put yeah, it'll be on. We'll put the links. Anya Magliano. Um do we need to do anything? Any admin? Um, thanks to all our new patrons. Yes. Our live show we did. With, um with What's Upset TV You TVI and What's Upset You Now was great fun, wasn't it? Yes. And um Watch it's that. gonna be live the whole video pro filmed on our patron it, for those of you that missed it yes patreoncom slash we are a TV a lot of fun yeah subscribe to our YouTube channel yeah I'm talking to you yeah <laughs> I will <laughs> subscribe get is that how you get them all yeah, yeah. they've all been Just guests one, one by one have <laughs> been your guests <laughs> get it up now we've got Wi-Fi what was stopping <laughs> my phone's over there um, right thanks for coming in thank you so much thanks to listeners thanks to thank everyone you. watching it's fun um, thanks Phoebe on a desk and um, that's it. Phoebe on the turntable. We'll speak to you <laughs> next time. Spinning, she's spinning some tunes. <laughs> okay, bye everyone. Bye bye. bye.